Cats are among the oldest domesticated animals, having first been kept as pets and even worshipped as godlike figures anywhere from 9,500 to 12,000 years ago, first in the Near East. Today's domestic kitty was probably the product of European and African wildcats, most notably the Middle Eastern wildcat. Cats sort of domesticated themselves because of their independent natures and in that they simply and slowly made themselves part of society. People began to take them on as pets, too. Because they favored cats that were placid and friendly versus those that were more wild or aloof, this naturally led to the emergence of the modern, friendly, peripherally human-dependent house cat. Today, about 34% of households in the United States keep about 90 million cats as pets. By the time kittens are six to eight weeks old, they can be separated from their mothers, although it's often recommended they should stay with their mothers until they are 12 weeks old. This is important to a kitten's behavioral and social development. At this time, breeders and or catteries will have kittens for sale. By the time they are six to seven months old, they are generally sexually mature, and they should be spayed or neutered to prevent unwanted pregnancy if necessary. Though the scientific study of the human-animal bond is still in its infancy, there are increasing reports of discoveries related to intriguing connections between human health and interaction with animals. Cats are one of the most popular animals with which we form these interactions. This research paper focuses on whether cats do play a role in strengthening the human immune system and general well-being. Learn more about cats and locate catteries and cat breeders and find kittens for sale. Go to petsforyou.com. That's P-E-T-S, the number four, Y-O-U, dot com.